what is postmodernism or what is postmodern art i will tell you in detail what postmodern art is and the topic of now since i, I divide postmodern art into different sections and the topic now is something that i would describe or loosely call materiality um, in the 1940s 1950s and even i think in the 1960s people started to paint their images with uh, with a certain style they said well before uh, in in times before we used to paint images like that you have your image and inside of your image you see a person or a landscape or a building so image inside you see a person in terms of um, art theory you could call it um, that there's a story inside of the image because you see a person just like in a, in a theater you somehow see a story in the image even if it's just a building so that was what people did um, before in the um, early 20th century that means 1900 and a few years uh, a guy named Vasily Kandinsky became very famous and he on the pe on the canvas he painted triangles and circles and um, other other artists did the same but it's always um, for you to know that in art people don't invent something like that uh, in the Minoan culture 3500 years ago people already painted things like that were just forms and and there was no a person on their on their image or no building nothing from the real world but just the forms themselves um but nevertheless this idea becomes central to postmodern thinking now the um abstract expressionists um where you see that abstract is just the opposite of painting a person and you see a real life person or building or something then this is um a part of the world but if you see only forms and colors it is called abstract because it's something abstract means not graspable not not really there but just uh, an idea of the mind so just colors and forms is called an abstract painting um and expressionist they are called because um because their images are related to expressionist art but it takes too long to explain what expressionist art is um maybe i can do that another time but just for now abstract expressionists become very necessary to look at for postmodern art not too much their images but the idea behind the images and the idea throughout art history that goes about painting an image like they did what did they do um barnett newman barnett newman is uh, a painter uh, of of abstract expressionism and he painted his first image of that style in 1948 so 1950 i think that's the date um that's when he painted his first first image that was in this style and what he did was he painted all the canvas red and he painted a white line on this red canvas so he created an image where there's no person to be seen but it's just red with a white or yellow yellowish line in the middle so he did this because he said this expresses um this um 
touches the viewer, the viewer will have a feeling, a real feeling, like um, real feelings, like um, not abstract feelings, but sadness or um, or happiness or joy from seeing the image. So basically, that's that's the first point that I wanna that I wanna talk about. It's the idea of what happens when you paint an abstract image that with nothing on it. So why does why does this thought um where's this thought now leading us to postmodern thinking? Postmodern art thinking um is how we how we think after having studied all the art of the past and thinking art is good and it's it's nice to make it and it's it's it has a um, it is um useful to make it what do we think how can art be done in the best way and and all these thoughts collected that we have for how to make art in the best way those we call post modern thinking about art that's it just describes the most recent ideas the ideas of today it um so the epoch that we have today is called the art of today is called postmodern just because it follows a certain styles and one of these styles is this idea that comes from from abstract that can be seen in abstract painting so imagine you come into um into a museum and you see a big Barnett and human picture. They, they, um, the pictures you make are, are really big. They are like uh, bigger than the screen here. They're like two, two meters. That's uh, some six, some six feet, and in the height also like a few meters. It's like really big red image. It's nothing on it. Just red image, white stripe in the middle. So um, that that particular picture is not this. is not two meters. Big. It's not six feet big. It's, it's smaller, it's like this. I link to a link to um, some things like Barnett Newman pictures in the description. Now you come into a museum and you see this picture hanging on the wall. What happens? Um, to understand what happens is to again first look at what people did. Some people did before, um, and that was. You come into the museum and you see a picture, and on the picture is something depicted. A person, a king, a landscape, something from the real world is depicted. So, in art, um, in art theory, it is said that, so people say in art theory, that you look right through the canvas and see the thing in, happening inside of the canvas where the, where the person is painted. And... Um, so in, in art theory, it's called the canvas is made invisible. It's the, the idea of making the viewer not notice the canvas, but instead looking through it. And, and now comes the, the postmodern idea behind that. In postmodern modern, uh, thinking, people think that... The image itself, the image itself is a real thing, and they want to. They want you that you don't think that you don't see the image. They want to point you to the image because they think it's it's like not a good idea for art to copy life in that way, because art itself has has a a worth. In itself, as being what it is, a, a piece of art. So now you come into that museum, and there's the the big Barnett Newman picture, just red and yellow, and you cannot look into the canvas. Instead, you see a big red screen with some yellow line, and suddenly you understand that you are looking at a painted image you are looking at a canvas and you also understand that this 
canvas is inside of is um, presented in a room. This is this is one of the of the um, things postmodern art um, likes to do. I made a video series. Postmodern art is com is complex, and there's different aspects to this. But this is one big aspect. You see the image as what it is, an image and also an object, a real life object. And this quality that you are looking at an object and as soon as you're looking at an object you um, understand the worth of objects as being part of the reality. As soon, that's that's what postmodern thinking wants to convey. That art is a great object for you to look at, and so in postmodern thinking, you could say that they say that in times before, when you just looked through the canvas onto the thing happening, you did not actually have this respect for the image itself for the and and you did not have respect for real life objects you just you just watch through them and take them as as granted and 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 now you are stopped in in watching what's on the image and you you're forced to watch the image itself as as what it is a real object in the real world like that's postmodern um and there were other artists who painted in the same time period, for example, Jackson Pollock and um, Rothko, R-O-T-H-K-O. And they also painted abstract expressionism. They are also called abstract expressionist painters. And um, Pollock, what Pollock did was he took a also huge canvas. You can expect huge images in this in this painting style. He took a huge canvas. And he took paint on his brush and he put the canvas on the floor and stood over the canvas and slammed, like, through the paint on the canvas, leaving um, um, paint, um, paint, uh, paint put over the image. Um, his, his images are super expensive. They are like... A very considered a very high art, super expensive. Even though he just threw paint on the image, and what he, what people think about what he did is, as soon as you see the image, you notice that paint was thrown on the image. So people say, I don't only see an image; I see, I, I get pointed to the creation of that image. Again, that that's, follows in a way the same idea of taking art serious as being a, a, a great thing, that you say, we, we used to look through the image, through the canvas, to see an image, and the art itself was not even noticeable. Now we see a red canvas and we see the art itself as an object. Um, and it's the same in, in a way the same to say, or similar to say, we see the canvas and we notice that somebody painted on it, that it is created, that it is art. So in a way is a similar idea behind that. And that that's a very um, basic postmodern thought, like understanding the art as a great thing that was, cre that was created. Um, I think I will come back to that in other ideas of postmodern art. This is a recurring thing. So now I want to um, to go to the next point of that, which is the materiality. Um, in postmodern thinking, this will, this will be connected. In in postmodern thinking, you think if you touch, if if you touch something, you have a feeling. But if you see something that you could touch, you also have a, f have a certain feeling because you kind of know how it feels. Or if you are positioned between 
uh, at close to objects of, of a certain material, you will have a different feeling. For example, steel, if you if you're at a steel block, you will have a certain feeling and if you are at a pillow, a soft pillow, be, you will have a certain feeling. So materiality becomes imp important in postmodern thinking. So when we look at this um, Barnett Newman picture that is red, if the the idea of of um, of it being a material that that has an effect because of the material itself uh, is also something that you have to think about in postmodern thinking. And um, now I would um, go to a theater because postmodern art, thinking about art and calling it postmodern, is for paintings. It is for theater. It is for TV. Every art, uh, like benefits from from these ideas developed in postmodern thinking. Um, so, I will talk about I will I will talk about the theater now. But we are still talking about what postmodern thinking is made up of, and also we will talk about materiality. In the sixties, seventies, or eighties, some somewhere around that. A guy made um, something that was called performances, and uh, performance is is a uh, is an idea where you don't. It's in a way a bit like a theatrical play, but there are no characters. But instead, people are just doing things without a background story. Just like it's it's what it's to watch people do something, or performance can also be you yourself do something or a performance could also be for example you put you take hay and put hay everywhere just as an example so um so there was a guy who made performances and uh, i wish i would remember his name but i don't at the moment um but i will link to i will link to him in the description um and he made performances and what one thing he did, he put car tires everywhere, and people were walking over the car tires. And uh, I think it was the same person who did this. And and it's also, um, so so you see, it's it's um, not too much the materiality at this point of the car tires. It's more the feeling of being surrounded by car tires. That 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 is the the idea behind that artwork. Um, and he, um, but that guy made a performance, I think it was the same person, um, where he, I'm sure to remember the name later, um, and I will write it in the description. So he made a performance where he let people take ice blocks and build a wall of ice blocks, like about uh, eight, eight feet, some eight feet to six feet in a square, and that um, six feet high, so he made people build up a wall, uh, a rectangular wall of ice. So what you what you directly notice is, yeah, the materiality has an effect on me. Um, so there's the effect of materiality that that we have as a uh, general idea in postmodern thinking, and also. In an, another performance, but but that was from another guy. Um, also, his name I'm going to give you in the description. Um, he put up a pillar, a a box-like pillar of about two feet height, and like I don't know this this big somehow somewhat this big, and he put up the pillar, and another pillar beside it. And the performance was there were drums playing, um, bongos playing. For one and a half minute, nothing happens on the stage. It was on a stage, like a theatrical stage, just two pillars. And then, after one and a half minute, one pillar falls down. And there's again drums playing, and then the light goes out. Uh, so, here you got this, this connection to the, to the abstract expressionist painting. 
the object itself is something worthy the and and you get some some other thing the the object is moving and in postmodern thinking a moving object is theater because something is happening postmodern thinking thinks a lot about physicality and spatial spatial means space is space and spatial means related to space so postmodern thinking thinks a lot about spatial relations what is standing beside what and spatial movement what is moving where where people are not people are moving it's not like like in in when you in um earlier forms of theater that you think what are they up to like the story what's the story what's the plot what are they up to in postmodern thinking it becomes important that they changed the location in the first place that that people or object change the location move spatially because yeah that's just one of the of the aspects of of postmodern thinking because this is already something that they move this this is already something you can also see in the performances car tires already are something if you walk on them if you are surrounded by them um so uh it's one of the thoughts of postmodern i very postmodern basic ideas this is already something spatial movement is already something um so we got this ice block performance that points you to the materiality like the, you see all those ideas as i said postmodern is all what we think about how art should be from from the viewpoint of what we know today from having known the art of the past so postmodern is a term describing thinking about art and postmodernism is the way of this that describes how we think about the world but of course it's not one single aspect there is certain aspects so i'm pointing out the single aspects in this video series um subscribe to my channel find the other videos uh so um back to the materiality of things there's a famous uh theatrical uh, uh like a theater maker called um yeah uh in a minute i'll come up with that name what's i don't know what's up today with the names but um there's a famous um i think polish theater maker who um who made a uh, theater and in in his theater his set design was was um what people thought about his set design was that it had a a very very strong impact on the viewer itself Th this was not accidentally that that um person was um that person was uh, the name is not so important just what is is not so important at the moment what is important is what he did and um and what he did was uh he wrote a lot of theory about how theater should be and then he created theatrical pieces with the objects having a really having like striking about as being the object itself does something with me it's it's the materiality and then he he used um he used tricks like um cantor his name is cantor um tadeus cantor um his theatrical plays were really spooky for example he had children playing in his theatrical piece and they had dolls like big dolls they were carrying which were of course you think about death because dolls being carried and you think about the materiality of the own body which which is which is a effect of of our world which is which makes us afraid but um postmodern thinking also at a, at one point has this in its repertoire thinking about things the materiality of things is the reality things it's like it's it's two ways we are material which makes us which endangers us put and and puts us in a way close to a uh, closer to immaterial objects which makes us afraid but on the other hand immaterial ob uh, material object no it makes us cl come close to material objects which makes us afraid um because we are afraid of death a death 
um, but it also puts the material object closer to us, making them seem more alive or more valid. So it's this, this is the point in, in postmodern thinking, thinking about materiality in all these forms, own materiality, materiality of the things, uh, movements being already, uh, being already something that is valid for art, um, material being something as being justified by that it is just there and a part of the world, and material being something as how you feel when you are standing close to it or touching it. Materiality is, is in this regard, a big point to uh, postmodern thinking. And um, so that they got this, this theatrical, work, theatrical work by Tadeusz Kantor that really puts you to, un, uh, his set design really puts you to understand how, how the material is something. He has very dusty, dusty tables and um, old things like wall looking somehow old and, and dirty and you like kind of notice the effect of the material. So we had... Uh, Tadeus Cantor's material sets um, and um, and the ice performance. And now we have uh, Wilson, uh, one of the really best theater, theater makers of the last century. And he has a certain way of making theater so that everything often is lit in the same light color and the people are moving in um are moving in a way that you that they are a bit like robots um so um you could say they are because often their movement does not make sense in 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 a um in a story or plot sense they just yes walk Past, and they use the whole stage for for walking and and stuff and and some uh, theoretical thinker about theater said it is really as if the whole play is um, automatically is running automatically in a natural sense as if nature would run automatically and the people are moving together with the whole performance making them not individual humans that are thinking and, and, and seemingly doing their will, but as in older theater forms it would have been, you would have thought about the will, what, what does this person want in the play, but now that guy said that it seems they, they are just following nature as if they were also just objects of this great play of nature. So... That's another um, another point of postmodern thinking about art in the in the theater in this case, about how we become not only objects as being physical, but also objects as being doing what this great cosmical nature is making with the whole world. Again, being connected clo more closer to the material world, to the to the animals. And as, and ourselves then being connected to all this, um, like bound or uh, tied in, being part of that whole flow. That's also one of the postmodern um, thoughts that's connected to materiality, if you so want, or order in this case, or being automatical, or the whole system doing something that we are a part of. So. That's um, that's that, and um, the third and and the third and last aspect of materiality that I want to talk about, um, in uh, which is important in postmodern, also in a way um, having a connection to to what I explained at the moment. Uh, an artist whose name also I don't know, but in this case I really have forgotten the name or, or the, the name of the art or um, artwork or the name of this guy. The other ones I should remember, but this one I didn't find um, yet, um, who exactly it did. But there was a guy who made, a, um, made an artwork which was a pyramid and a sphere 
and a cube in white put in a room in a white room and just empty white room and just in the middle were of about this size cube pyramid and sphere and um, if you see um, once again we look at the past if you see Greek statues um, the past that was not so much um, thinking in postmodern terms but actually if you look at art um, over the over the ages you see all these ideas are always all ideas thinking about art are always present it's always this has been there before people did it people didn't do it then at other times so nothing i used to say nothing is really new in art but we look at postmodernism in art and in general thinking about what modern art focuses on um because that's what postmodern means it's what modern art focuses on how we think art um which today is we think of it postmodern um so this guy made um made this up put this object in a room as an artwork and in uh with the classic greeks that's 2500 years ago and the romans they used to make statues of people so in in uh, in in um art in art theory terms there is um a story or a plot if you see a person it can be that there's there's a famous uh, work of art from the greeks where somebody is fighting against snakes like he he has a snake in his hand and he's fighting the snakes and um and and you see the the drama drama is story um where you want to know how it's how it's going to what's going to happen that's like one of the one of the ideas of of drama in theatrical terms so that's drama or or in modern terms you can also say there's plot plot means there's a story um something that you see is happening so there's this guy fighting the snakes and that that's an, an art piece 2500 years ago about about um it it's not this old actually because in the 2500 years ago the greeks made very good looking uh noble statues and then 100 years later they went to make our statues being more disturbing and more imperfect um for example they made the statue of a drunk woman a, a old drunk woman like uh, something like that so um greek art wasn't always the same in this later period they they also had differences but um what we see here is it's it's um you could say a pyramid and a sphere and a cube is is like again another thinking about art which as i said i also um saw in minoan art which is a thousand years before that greeks that i just talked about um so nothing's really new all things um come and go um now we have this pyramid and the sphere and it's not telling a story that's that's point 1 it's not telling a story that's what it's supposed to do it's just the object again the object is respectful as as uh, earns respect the object is something in postmodern thinking because objects are interesting to us now you see in the falling pillar and you see that movements of objects is interesting you see things can be objects and not physical physical only but only bound into the whole play of the objects that the universe does and um and also objects become interesting for us because they are somehow really there and valid and we've get the materiality so in this case the pyramid and the sphere and the cube is an object in the postmodern thinking which makes it this is something good this is something cool this is something art worthy so it's an object not only that the object is shown like you would look through an image and see what is happening there but also that the object is there in in the reality of that there's actually an object wow that that is real art touching me we had the barnett newman image it's not touching it's not in this case touching what i see when i look through the canvas at the person in this case it's touching me 
the whole the complete object that the object itself is touching me so post that's very postmodern thinking um about art and in and then there and to all this what i just said last thing now is that comes this other aspect that when you see this pyramid and sphere and cube you um, start to see the room around you this in this case the white room around the statues the, the room itself is something that becomes that that you suddenly notice more you're not s sunk into an image where you see the room inside of, behind the canvas but you actually now notice the room around you so that's why um, um, these images like these images um, of um, abstract expressionism where there's just colors on them are usually uh, presented in with also with thinking about in which room they are presented like a big room with images um, with images arranged at the wall and that that you will find in a, in a museum if you find these images the the people who, who puts up the exhibition also thinks about the room they are in and that's also very postmodern thinking this all thing um, that I mentioned cosmical thing material objects we um, the room and, and spatial movement being already something for art uh, the room of course becomes important so it's also an important aspect how the object that you see, be it a canvas with red paint or be it a pyramid, how these objects um, makes the surrounding room appear to you. And this becomes also important then, all this becomes important then for movies, where you see objects on screen, so you got this all object component, when you see the objects, you got moving objects, um, uh, for example, in action scenes, moving objects, um, which are theater, because there's objects moving, um, like the falling pillar. Um, and uh, you got objects on the screen, and you got something else that is... You see in, in, in the background where, where I am, you see this, this materiality of this um, stuff in the background. You feel... What this that this materiality has an effect on you. That means the modern movie maker will look at the touch and the feel of the material that is that is in the background. Um, uh, that, like uh, when they do computer renderings for for the Marvel uh, movies, they also you also notice how they how they take care of the the feel. The material has that even though they're making it on a computer it's just generated material but they're always looking at what the feel would be and um so you got the feel of this material but what you got on top of that is this is a screen and in postmodern thinking now from all i said um now follows that this the screen itself, as it is in front of you, has, in a, in a certain way of thinking, a materiality. I don't mean the glass or whatever of your screen. I mean the, the all-over feeling that you get when you look at the screen as being an object. Like, if I stand still, the whole screen, in its... Um, in its blue light and in its form and its and in its um, feel for materiality that comes from the material, um, the whole screen is considered an object that makes you think in a certain way about the room that is around you, and that gives you a feeling as an object in this case where you are standing in front of the object and and this already being valid art as the just a red painting so 
that's also an, an aspect of materiality to now understand that every image that you create in TV is already considered in a certain way by the viewer as an as a flat object like um like the the red canvas so you have the objects in the image giving you materiality giving you feel for materiality and you have the object the all over composed object that somehow the screen gives to you so that makes an object have the materiality but if you change the lighting to another color then comes this aspect of the screen in itself being thought of as a material thing uh, because the feel of the object changed when you change the light and that's something that's somehow um, part of the of the image um, itself that you see that was uh, what is postmodern art and specifically what is materiality um, in postmodern thinking, postmodern art theories. And as I said, I have more videos about postmodern art and it's, it's a complex thing divided into different fields. So um, please subscribe to my channel if you like this. And um, also if you like this video. And also I'm really, I really like it if you click the like button. If you if you like the video and uh, that was this um, topic uh, thank you for watching